Competition Bureau Canada presents Compliance Case Files, Episode 2, Price Fixing. The fix is out. Price fixing schemes take several forms. The story you are about to hear is a common example based on real events. These are not the real names of any of the three companies involved. The owner of one of these companies, a chain of gas stations, calls the Competition Bureau. She explains that the owners of other local gas chains are pressuring her to participate in an agreement they have to fix the price of gas. They want her to join in so they can all make more money, but she thinks something is wrong. The Competition Bureau takes all allegations of price fixing very seriously and starts investigating. The Bureau has the power under the Competition Act and Criminal Code to carry out wiretaps, execute search warrants, and subpoena records and witnesses. Over several months, investigators interview witnesses and obtain wiretaps to conduct surveillance on the businesses. Investigators also obtain warrants to search three corporate locations, nine homes, and two home offices. They seize thousands of electronic and paper records. The investigation uncovers evidence that senior officials of three companies have agreed to fix the price they charge for gas at the pumps. They call each other regularly to agree on prices. The Competition Bureau uses wiretaps to capture the price-fixing conversations. Price-fixing can occur in every industry, in any region of the country, and among large or small companies. Price fixing occurs most often in two ways. The vast majority of cases involve agreements by competitors to fix the price for their products instead of letting a competitive market determine prices. It can also involve agreements by companies to fix a price along their supply chain. Cracking down on price fixing is a top priority for the Competition Bureau. It takes action when it finds evidence that shows competitors have reached an illegal agreement. The consequences of wrongdoing can be stiff. Jail terms for individuals of up to 14 years and fines set at the discretion of the court. As a business owner or manager, you can take action to prevent employees from engaging in illegal behavior. Start by creating a culture of compliance in your organization. A first step in creating this culture is to develop a compliance program. Here are several concrete moves you can make to develop a solid compliance program. Task a senior manager to be responsible for compliance. Take a long, hard look at your operations and any market conditions that might expose your company to risk. For example, if you have just a few established competitors or you operate in a small region where everyone knows each other, these conditions could increase the risk of conversations that lead to illegal agreements. Prepare and distribute a detailed document that sets out do's and don'ts in the highest risk areas for your business. A do could be use caution when collecting and sharing sensitive business information. A don't could be avoid any discussions with competitors about pricing. Update your business's code of conduct to cover price fixing explicitly. Your updated code of conduct will encourage employees to ask questions about illegal behavior and report potentially illegal behavior. Your code of conduct should also set out disciplinary measures for those employees who engage in illegal behavior. These measures may include termination of employment. If applicable, inform your business's lawyer about the program and the updated code of conduct. Make sure your employees understand their role in complying with the law. You can inform them in many ways. Email them about your updated code of conduct. Post a note to your company's intranet if it has one. Host an all-staff meeting on recognizing and avoiding price fixing. Include compliance awareness in your training for new and existing employees. Update your business's website to make public your code of conduct and, through it, your pledge to do business ethically. These actions are just some of the moves your business can make to create a culture of compliance. Think about other actions that make most sense for your business. If you are unsure of anything, 
consult the Competition Bureau's public resources, and talk to your lawyer if you have one. If you think your business may be on the wrong side of the law, cooperating early on is a much better approach than the alternative, as the three fuel retailers found out. Prosecutors used the evidence gathered by Competition Bureau investigators to put together a powerful case. Executives at all three companies realized the case's strength too. The companies pleaded guilty to charges of price fixing without a trial. Valley Energy pleaded guilty to price fixing and was fined $985,000. City Fuels pleaded guilty to price fixing and was fined $900,000. The gas pump pleaded guilty to price fixing and was fined $1,150,000. Three guilty pleas, three stiff fines, three tarnished business reputations. The fix is out.